It's very impressive to see how much work is going in. The ambition must be to be able to produce houses that have zero carbon on a commercial basis. And what you're seeing here are prototypes, uh, trying things out, but already there are promising signs. And that's to the credit of the university, uh, because uh, that's the essential first step before you actually see houses like this being built on a commercial basis. I'm very clear that uh, the people who do the research, the first movers, are going to get the big advantage. And I think it's good that you have a British university here, especially a university that's got a long-standing and strong tie with China, where the commercial uh, possibilities are you know, virtually endless. I think it's really good that we're seeing that research here. Now, it will only happen if you know, we maintain uh, our support for that, and that's something that I want to see. Uh, but this research is very, very important. Is the estate agents thing. Yeah. <laughs> It has a, a nice I'm Nina Ormazabal, an international student from Chile. I'm an associate professor back home and I'm doing my PhD here. Um, is, I'm specifically researching all the post-occupancy of the house um, in, in two levels actually, in performance, in regard to energy performance and then also how it is for occupants. For me, one of the most surprising things is to be able to prove that if you design well, passively, um, with passive design, that means taking into consideration the sun geometry, the latitude where you are, you can really reach very good energy conservation standards. So, for instance, this house has proved that almost we don't need heating and we are in latitude 52 north so it is really uh, amazing it was a great visit it was an opportunity to show the chancellor not just the research that's taking place in uh, sustainable technologies but actually putting that into demonstration projects in the creative energy dwellings and it was a bit of a bonus then getting up here at the jubilee campus because we can show that a stage further and show how we within the university using some of these technologies at scale to heat and cool our own buildings. I was very well engaged and I think he was certainly impressed by what he saw because what he's seen with the creative energy dwellings is houses which you can build which are affordable, they're not unattractive and uh, pay for themselves through savings in electricity and, and gas. And what he sees up here at the Jubilee campus is us actually doing it ourselves rather than just talking about it. The nice thing about Creative Energy Homes is the fact that it's on the university campus. It's you know 200 yards from where we actually teach the subject to the students, and it's it's a great opportunity for our students to be able to engage in a live research project, come down and understand how the technologies work, how design changes and techniques that you bring into into building design can actually make a real difference and see it in reality, not just in a textbook or on a slide that's been presented during a lecture. We actually have a live project that we can engage our students with and undertake research as well. One of the discussions I had with him was why some of these technologies haven't taken off in the past and it has been about economics. Whilst we've had an era of cheap uh, electricity and gas, that there wasn't the incentive to put in the new technologies but now that's changing and people are realising that these technologies are not really that expensive and in the long term will be very much beneficial both for the uh, climate change agenda but as well as economically. The Creative Energy Home project in, U in Nottingham will have also impact for the work done in our university in, in the Bo campus as well as uh, the impact uh, for China in terms of uh, learning from the experience we had at, at this university and implement these ideas uh, in China, uh, building similar houses and we see that many, many companies, universities from China visiting us uh, and uh, looking around the creative energy homes, try to learn and, and understand the way we've done this project so they go back to their own countries and implement these ideas.